Oh shit. Looks like we're getting them Trump bucks after all. At least some of us. Uh, it is a bit on the means tested side, but at least it, like before, it doesn't have the means testing for people at the bot very bottom. They always made less than 2500 a year, and this, that, and you know, At least it doesn't have that. But it could be, you know, people who made less than, say, 150000 or 100000 get the 1200 bucks instead of it tapering off after 75000 But it looks like we're getting it. Um, though it's uh, better than nothing, but at the same time pretty stingy because Canada, they're uh, giving their citizens, as far as I know, $2,000 a month. That's 2000 Canadian dollars, which is almost the same as uh, what we're, what our money is. But anyway, they're getting 2000 of their dollars per month for the next four months. You know, if we spent the entire or most of the uh, two trillion dollar stimulus just on a partial UBI or you know something like that you can give two thousand bucks a month for air to every adult citizen that can qualify for five months you know but it's definitely been on the stingy side they say they may do it one more time but I suspect they probably won't they probably find some last second reason last minute reason not to do it but yeah, of course, the bill itself is filled with a bunch of problems. The corporate giveaways uh, is out the ass. It's a pork barrel for uh, corporate welfare. I don't mind helping out some sectors of the private sector who are impacted by this a little bit or somewhat. I don't mind that as long as they're helping out regular citizens also at the same time. It's never a perfect solution or situation, but, um, you know, I, it's going to be some balance to it. You know what I mean? got to be some balance so apparently it looks like we're getting it even though it's riddled with pork barrel spending uh, for corporate america um and it's a bit stingy a good deal stingy uh, when it comes to regular citizens mean a bit more means tested than i like it to be i don't want it to be means tested at all if some millionaires get it who are just regular citizens not some company so be it it's a fucking crisis just fucking print the checks and be done with it or deposit the shit be done with it um, now it's not really the time to be counting pennies. I'm not saying be ridiculous about it, but I'm saying at the same time, don't be fucking, you know, trying to make everything super duper perfect or perfect enough, holding everything up. Um, so some people might be getting their money as early as, uh, April 6th. Uh, a couple people I know that already have the money pending on their cards. It's like, oh yeah, this money will be deposited on 6th. So, uh, <clears throat> so at least eh, that's okay. But twelve hundred bucks uh, will only take you so far. Now with this whole stimulus, stimulus spending, you know, situation, you're gonna have people, uh, particularly on the right, some, who, um, of course, mostly the libertarian right, that sort of thing, who say, "Oh my God, it's gonna cause the national debt to explode and kill us all, or whatever." That's what they make it sound like, like it's some doomsday shit. <clears throat> but the problem is. With that little th way of thinking, yeah, you got to remember there's this <laughs> there, there's this metric we go that we use in the economics. It's called the debt to GDP ratio. Check it out if you don't know about it. It's, it's a real interesting shit. Um, a bit dry, but it's interesting because the debt to GDP ratio is really important for determining like or at least one of them, one of the metrics for how to how to determine the um, the economic viability of a country or whatever um or just how how it's going but anyway <clears throat> our debt to gdp jet debt to gdp ratio in the united states is roughly 115 120 percent to gdp that means our debt <clears throat> our national debt is 120 percent of our yearly gdp it's just a ratio of what you compare in the numbers um, some people say that's that's a lot, even though during World War II or towards the end of World War II, our debt to GDP ratio was a little bit more than that. I think it was 125%. So we can grow our way out of the debt. You know, we can grow our way out of the improving, well, we can improve our debt to GDP ratio over time. There's just several things I recommend doing, which are probably not going to happen for a while. But um, <clears throat> But in a nutshell, it's slashing military funding but of course increase uh compensation packages for veterans retired veterans i mean, I mean, I mean veterans active um 
service people, uh, people who are on the you know the soldiers and all that. You know, give them, of course, give them a big fat pay raise. They deserve it. I mean, they're going they're willing to put their lives on the line for what they see uh, as you know, you know, doing they're doing a service to their country, and they're they're choosing to do it. So you know, uh, give them props for that. Uh, even though the way the U.S. military, the U.S. military's been acting is, you know, it's totally imperialist. But still, I'm not going to blame the soldier. I'm going to blame the fucking jokers at the top. Um, though at the same time, if the soldier on the bottom, you know, and it doesn't blatantly illegal shit, prosecute him, prosecute them. But excuse me. But anyway, cut down the military spending. Also, switch over to Medicare for all. A recent Yale study. This is a different one. A recent Yale study says we'd save all 500 billion or so a year, and we'd save 40 or 50 thousand lives. I think, if I remember correctly, um, you know. Then also, we switch over to fucking not not switch over, but do universal basic income, you know, or basic income of a thousand dollars a month for every adult citizen that's 18 and older, on top of current social programs, and even doing that, in theory, you can actually end up end up is the key phrase, end up lowering taxes and you would uh, um, spur a whole bunch of economic growth uh, I think Business Insider or one of those websites had an article saying that if we did basic income for the next eight years it, at the end of the eight years we would grow the GDP by two and a half trillion dollars that's how much new economic activity would be generated on top of the savings we would get on poverty reduction and its expensive symptoms um, which is as, what we're spending on poverty's expensive symptoms right now is estimated to be around four trillion a year. So if we do go, do go with uh, basic income or the net cost, look this up if you haven't seen this yet. The net cost, net transfer cost of basic income, and you compare that to what we're spending on poverty, uh, we're getting we're we're doing the more expensive, less effective thing that's more shitty. <laughs> so eloquent. Then we're, you know, then the, the new basic income. If you do the basic income, we'd end up saving money and growing the economy even faster compared to what we're doing right fucking now. So you do those things. Um, of course, you want to increase the marginal tax rate on the top 0.01% or whatever of corporations and whatnot. Make sure Amazon pays their part in the federal taxes as well. Companies like that, Walden's, all that. Um, and, and you can set up a recipe for putting us on a much more economically sustainable and better path. You know, that's for all. Um, of course, I also advocate for federal job guarantee, uh, tuitionless college, um, public banking, promoting the idea of, you know, with public banking, promoting more worker co-ops, co-determinants being formed and you know, being set up to uh, compete against um, qu uh, traditionally private ran businesses other things like that too I'm, I'm a multi approach kind of person so don't just think that i'm strictly for ubi but i'm against federal job guarantee i'm for all these options we can do them all it's time to really invest in the people you invest in the people they become you know consumers and we can do things in a much more ecologically sustainable and friendly way and then you know it all works out for, it's going to eventually work out for everyone much better than the way we're going now so anyway this whole national debt thing is we can really grow our way out of it i mean it's, it's i mean look at japan japan has a national debt has a national debt uh gdp ratio of 200 percent. their debt to gdp ratio is 200 fucking percent i had someone i talked to a while back said well holy shit they just seem like like for the first time they're like why, why hasn't they exploded i don't know why haven't they <laughs> most of the money that the japan owes is to themselves like us most of the money that we own our national debt is borrowed against our social programs like social security you know that's like 70 percent something like that and the rest is bonds and color countries and having money invested in our economy invested in our success why would they want to invest in a country that's not going to be successful our gdp and our production we put out so fucking much that we're pretty we're pretty much a solid bet um when it comes to um you know foreseeable future we just put out so fucking much uh, this country is geographically very large, um, not the largest, but pretty large. It has a whole ton of resources, and we put a, quite a bit of money in our infrastructure, even though that's crumbling. We've been slacking on that. But, anywho, before this video gets on too long, and uh, that sort of thing, just, hey, it looks like we're getting them Trump bucks, or at least some of us. I know I probably will. Hopefully. <laughs> I, I certainly qualify. It looks like I do. 
I made less than seventy five thousand last year. So, uh, and uh, just, I wish it was expanded. I wish it was a bit more generous, a bit more of like a temporary UBI. That'd be great. Um, but it is what it is. It's better than nothing. It's pork barrel bullshit alongside of it. And uh, as far as the national debt's concerned, don't be that worried about it. It's important, yes. Of course it's important. Uh, but it's not going to be like some atomic bomb that's ready to explode next week or some shit. It's just not going to do that. But anyway... I'll see y'all around.